you will see many parts of your house will feel like a coffin. Not everybody who is having psychological problems are pathologically ill. Most of them are victims of the situations in which they exist. So Punya Puja is a way of consecrating your home, entire home, every part of it. The thing is, uh, what this Punya Puja is, uh, maybe we can use an English term so that everybody <laughs> looks at it differently. Punya Puja is like, uh, you know what's Punya? What is referred to as Punya and Papa, unfortunately these things are badly misinterpreted over a period of time. Punya Papa means those type of actions, actions which take you down, a actions which, you know, increase the effervescence of life within you or actions which move you towards the inertia of life. Or in other words, actions which move you towards life, actions which move you towards death. When I say death, not just physical death, you can die in so many ways. So there are many fantastic phenomena happening in the name… in the process of life every day. Every day, every moment it's happening. Most of the humanity is dead to it. They're dead to the moon, dead to the sunrise, dead to the sunset, only when something becomes acute or they have to get up in the morning, early morning and go for their work. Then sun gets in their eyes and of course you put the pad so that you can't see it. Something like this. Why this has happened is, the psychological space has overtaken the cosmic space. Or your own silly creation in your head has overtaken the creator's creation. This is all that's happened. And anyway, the puja is about getting you into an energetic space where you become alive to these things. So the punya puja is to end live in the house. The space in the house should become alive. If you have lived in such a way in your home that every moment you're on with love and light within you, then no punya puja would be needed. But today you have built homes which are so large, it's very difficult to make them alive just by living. If you just had a one-room house and you lived in great sense of love and joy, you can easily keep it very alive. But today your house has ten, fifteen enclosures. It's very difficult for any human being to keep it alive. Once in a way, if you do not live in it, Slowly, if you enter certain parts of your home, you will see it feels like a coffin. I want all of you today, uh, you know your house well enough, where you need to open your eyes, you open, but just walk with your eyes closed, with your left hand outstretched a little bit and just walk, just feel and walk around the house. You will see many parts of your house will feel like a coffin. Some parts may be alive. Usually I find kitchens are alive because <laughs> it's the only place something is happening everywhere else. If you live in a very, very alive way, you can end live in something. But when you have twelve, fifteen, twenty enclosures in your house, it's very, very difficult for anybody to end live in all that. So Punya Puja once in a way, at least once a year would light it up, that is, you have the space around you alive and it supports you. Can't I live beautifully in a coffin? You can. If you're capable of it, no problem. But not everybody is, they need external support. This is the idea of creating consecrated spaces. So Punya Puja is a way of consecrating your home, entire home, every part of it, so that there is some sense of aliveness and energy. But we cannot consecrate your home in such a way it's forever because your house is not built through that geometry. It doesn't have that kind of material to hold the energy forever. If we end live in an Indian home, easily one or two years it will stay alive. An American home 
particularly largely with wood and inside all those uh, dampening, what's this, uh, insulating material. Keeping it alive, I'm saying if nothing alive is happening in the house, <laughs> you're a depressed person, suppose. You have a whole bunch of depressed people in the house, nobody's really alive. If it is so, this Punya Puja may deplete in a matter of six to eight months. It will not stay for very long because the material used does not support that. If the house was built, built with brick or stone, we could make it alive and easily make it stay that way at least for two years. Minimum two years, I would say one and a half to two years, it could last much more. But it also depends on you, how you are. However the material is, if you are fine, you can live well. Because uh, now most of the American homes are woodwork, you know, that's not a good word <laughs> It's woodwork, so it doesn't have the same capacity to hold. And another thing is it's recirculated air. Nobody opens a window or a door. It's all the time same air being recirculated or very minimal amount of movement of aliveness. If you have a lot of plants around you, trees around you, and if you keep the windows open, they will take care of the Punna Puja for you to quite some extent. They can. But most of the houses are shut off and recirculated air is going on all the time. People are not moving about joyfully, either they're uh, staring at their computer screen or they're depressed or they're sleeping. Inertia of various levels and various levels of stresses and tensions, it slowly builds up in the space and it can overwhelm a person. Any number of people will find if they're feeling sick, particularly if they're feeling psychologically, you know, kind of oppressed, you will see if they just walk out of that space, they will feel great. If they move to another place, they will almost become healthy. Many times, many, many times for most people, not everybody who is having psychological problems are pathologically ill. Most of them are victims of the situations in which they exist, various type of situations. Energy situation is one of them and an important one. We have taught you a Kriya, how to keep this… this body work within this boundary, how to keep it and live in all the time. But the larger woodwork of your home, <laughs> how to keep it alive, if your Kriya is too fantastic, if your Shambhavi Mahamudra is such, it's an explosion within you, then if you just walk around the house, maybe the space will get fixed. But if it's not like that, if you're not like that, then it's good to make use of the support of Punya Puja. It's a wonderful process through which it'll be done.